up, everybody? It's your boy Stewie the Gamer here, and we are back with some more NBA 2K21. But before we get started, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you get notified when we upload new videos, which is multiple times every single day, and leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let's get into it. We come to you tonight from the shores of Lake Erie as the streets of downtown Cleveland, Ohio are alive with activity. Hello and thanks for joining us, folks, for this one week NBA God. action on 2K Sports. <coughs> God. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. Levine and Valentine are the wingmen. Now, Cobb let's see if we can keep this uh, win streak uh, going. And at the point guard position. We're Cleveland, up two on the 500 mark. Andre Drummond on the mark. 24 and 22. So let's see if we can keep building the wins up. Above and God. Steve, is that <clears throat> Man, I was eating a donut and now I'm all choked up. Hey, Kevin, <sighs> it is a real thing. You see Ooh. guys more focused. You see guys <clears throat> on time, on time. Yeah, let's see if we can year, you see guys on their get this shit fucking and you see some of their back up. On the court. Get ahead of everything. Here's Drummond and oh, Drummond yeah. throws it down. Well, everyone knows once Drummond gets anywhere around the rim, it's pretty much a done deal. Levine deciding where to go with it. The pass to Cobb takes the three. Oh. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. Ah. Proven he can be a sniper. Like seeing Cobb rise up and drain the three. I'd send it out to David Aldridge, who caught up with head coach Billy Donovan. David? Well, Kevin, he admitted the oh, no. he's concerned. Mother he said, we up against the team that sees Aye. the floor very well, and they're quick to take advantage <clears throat> of mistakes. So we have to be quick and smart in our rotations, or we'll get eaten alive. Guys, we'll see who wins out in this battle of adjustments. <clears throat> Great update, David. Thanks. It'll be fascinating, Greg, to watch them try to slow down these shooters. No question. That's the focus defensively. But then, on the offensive end, they have to get production of their own. The way this league is going, you have to play great defense and you have to score to keep up. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. And they say the mid-range J is a dying shot, but Cobb enjoys knocking it down from there. Now, here's Garland. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Pass to Stewart. He kicks it to Sexton. Just five to shoot. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. There we go. To go. <clears throat> There's the patience. Ah, you want to still got me fucked up. Sexton eyes up and finds the open man. Levine against Sexton. They get a hand on it, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Levine. Oh, yeah. Cavaliers have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And the deep ball has come alive the last few seasons. For Ooh, hell game. yeah. He set a Bulls record for May threes in a season last year. Hey, Greg, Zach Levine continues to work and improve his shot, which has been fantastic. He not only trusts his shot at this point, but feel it's a strength now. He's more willing to look for jumpers and big possessions now. Chicago making a switch here. <laughs> White's checked in. Let's do this. Free throw, good Drummond. Andre Drummond's games has to improve at the free throw line if he wants to be a go-to player. And White kicks to Levine. And, oh, he Ooh. jams it right over Andre Drummond. Wow. <clears throat> The creativity, extreme athleticism. You see why Zach's won the dunk contest multiple times. Pass to Drummond. Now, here's Junior. He's covered closely, and there's the Yeah, I was trying to fucking pass it so I could fucking move, and it wouldn't fucking pass it. Marking ah. in for Carter. Motherfuckers. For Cobb, and I swear. Subbed in for Valentine.
Yeah, I tried. It wouldn't fucking pass it. New group on the floor for the Cavaliers. Uh, we're down five. Feeds to Williams. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Pass to Stewart. Back to Williams. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Lock at six. Singletary. Well, let me fucking Cleveland get away. Rebound. And that there one. We go. Good. Nance has got his first <clears throat> bucket of the night. Yeah, this league is in good shape when you talk about guys like Nance, the consummate role player. Come on, Kyle. Does everything. Come on, That's buddy. Stuff. We've got nah. Nance. Junior's out there with Williams. Then there's Sexton. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. <laughs> Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Kept alive. Carter with the bucket. Carter's got his first points in this one. Right there, Carter using his instincts and motor to track down the miss and convert into second chance points. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldrich. Thanks, guys. Junior in his last outing against the Wizards was tremendous. He tallied 25 points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what became a great exhibition on his part. He performed really well, and I could see his role expanding if he continues to make that kind of impact, Kevin. Excellent, David. Thank you. Greg, how impressive was it watching him completely take over? Unstoppable. Uh, they won that game because of his effort and just his overall relentlessness. And that's what every player has control of, his level of activity. It allows you to impact the game even if the shot isn't falling. First free throw is good. You know, when you look at the balance of power between players and teams, Greg, does it feel like the players now have more say, more control than they used to? No doubt. Uh, we're seeing more players demand trades, sign shorter contracts with opt-outs. And the irony of that is, in my era, our best players were fearful for the length of their contracts hmm. or, or the life expectancy of their careers, believe it or not. And these guys today, they understand their value. Uh, they know what they bring to the table, and they are utilizing that to the max. And is that good, Greg, for the game? I think so. I, I, I do think most guys want to win, and they understand that their legacies are going to be defined about whether or not they do. Now, here's Sexton. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Washington. Man. And he comes up with the deuce. And they repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Here's Park, leading by five. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Counted his second make in four attempts. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Down low, here's White, and he floats in for the easy two. Man. Credit the assist on that one. Still down by five. Terrific play in the paint by Kobe White. Uses his athleticism to find a shot. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. They beat the Bulls during their last encounter in Chicago. Not a close contest either. The last time they got together, everyone in the rotation played solid, and the bench was the difference. Great scoring output from that second unit. Such a luxury to have that extra ammunition. Garland, he's checked in for Cleveland. Now, here's Junior. He had 25 points in the win against Washington. And he really controlled the pace of the game by getting to the line. The D could not oh, come on, and he took advantage of it. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Man, they missed. I missed. Drummond missed. So for the Bulls. While remarketing comes in for Wendell Drummond's Clark. swatted away still. For Denzel Valentine. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close Down game here. Four. In Chicago, they lead by four. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Standing by courtside. Pull away. David. I said last time we played him. 
we won, and it wasn't close. So hopefully we can start kind of getting back in the groove and beating them and pulling away and all that shit. Be nice. Open shots tend to be made. Thanks, I know, I back to you, Kevin. Great. Thank you, David, and we'll be back after halftime as well, the third quarter gets bucket, underway. I think. Here was a sec. Uh, yeah, two points. Like one bucket. Maybe one of three. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Hendricks Cobb with a strong contribution so far in this one. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Taking a look at the Bulls. Oh, Bulls come on, Drummond. Cobb is out there with Wendell Carter. And it's Park in at the one spot to the middle. Oh, Played in with a nice fuck. touch off the glass. Cobb's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Bulls. To the inside, here's Drummond. There you Drummond go. throws it down. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. Now, here's Cobb. Guarded by Stewart, Carter. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Carter's got his second bucket of the night. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Go into the rack with energy. And the Still down by four, though. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged, and everything has to be earned. Chicago with the ball, following the score by Cleveland. Cobb passes to Levine. Carter kicks to Cobb. Oh. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Andre Drummond picks one up. Yeah, Cobb yeah, is never afraid me to across the floor. Forward. Gets fouled inside, but still gets the shot up. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Free throw drops in for Cobb. Oh Greg, you really began to emerge and got on the national scene at UNLV, but you started your college career at Portland where you were actually named the conference freshman of the year. Uh, yeah, how about uh, I actually averaged more points in Portland than in any season I played at Vegas. Totally different roles, but Portland's always going to have a, a sweet spot in my heart. My first child was born in the great city of Portland. Now, here's Junior. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. And ah. shooting free throws here. And, and I like Beautiful. the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. For Cleveland, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. See if I can handle these. That one is off. Nope. Fuck. Come on now. No, oh, that one sucked too. The Fuck. The Bulls leading by six. This is not my game. I've only made one shot. Missed both of my free throws. Here's White. We're down by six. And that one hits back iron. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. Sexton's yeah, yeah. shot there is go. good. A dangerous score from mid-range. Sexton loves to take that shot when he gets it in rhythm. Here's Park. He's got eight. White looking around. So down by four. And that one drops for him. Six. I like White's decision making in the pick and roll. He has a good understanding of the defense. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And coach most likely wants to address their turnover issues. The offense looks forced right now. Rush. There's no synergy to it. They have to find a way to work together. Come on, guys.
Holy shit, we, we are up. I just know that we're up by seven. On the path to Levine, and some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Cobb with it. Kicks it out to Markinen. And this has there been an go. outstanding display on the boards, and it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game. Doing the dirty work down low. Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Thompson is out ah. there with Junior. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Well, overall, they're the team getting the better looks here in this second half. For them, the first half was maybe more of a filling out process. Now it's winning time. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Oh, Here's the thing. Come he's on a now. guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. And such a huge play, guys. I mean, that's a four-point swing, possibly. Tremendous steal and conversion right there. Oh, come on, so man. That would have been nice. And we have still only made one fucking bucket all game. The here in the second half. The line, We're in the fourth the quarter. Stewart. Only got two fucking points is my name. Terrible. Like I said, I, I like seeing the double digits. At least. So fucking ten, but nah. Fucking two. If we can make these, we missed our first two. We throw good, oh, Junior. No. Alright. Well, so that was kind of late. So he oh, up come just on. From the line that time. Bulls you trail by six. Me. Now, come. And that one drops. And this game is Cobb's fingerprints all over it. He's taking over on offense and showing no signs of stopping. And it's in there. And coming down the stretch here, both teams still on fire. Yes. And if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. It's been a highlight reel affair. Here's Cobb. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. Well, we know Cobb's an impossible cover sometimes. You take one thing away, he beats you with another. The first one falls. You know, Cobb was born ready for the NBA. Everywhere he goes, he's the one to watch, and with good reason. He's truly a once-in-a-lifetime talent. And Cobb drops both of them. Right. I'll tell you, he doesn't give We're points away. Four. Excellent job from the line. To the paint, here's Stewart. Oh, and come on! Two free throws coming what up. Foul my ass. That one uncommon. Wow. Fucker. Wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Two shots. <sighs> All right. Let's see if we can make some of these. We've only made one out of four. All right. That good, good, Junior. Made two of five. And both free throws, right. good for Junior. We've got five points. I'll have to get another five points. Bulls trail by Try six. breaking the uh, double digits. Two and a half minutes left. Now, here's Cobb. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. My and he gets the I'll try. Lowry marketing making his presence felt as this game heats up. Pass to Stewart from deep three-point nope. range. They get it back. Nice shot there by Thompson. Go. And the Cavaliers lead by six. And guys, all about hard work from this point Two on. Minutes. And they've worked hard to create that high-quality shot 
and then able to knock it down. Chicago calls timeout. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Tristan Thompson. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight, just amazing. He hadn't just been gunning. He, he's been picking his spots. And, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he had. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Well, during the break, I listened in on Billy Donovan's huddle. With oh, dude, God, come on, guys. To pick it up. He said there's no time like the present. I know I called for a fucking pass, but fucking. Let's take back this game. Use your head. Don't fucking pass it to them. Pass it ahead of them or some shit. When Cobb's team needs a bucket. Oh, this God. guy usually delivers. Only down he two. doesn't really shy away from big moments. Garland dishes to Junior. Wah! Two free throws coming. Fucking up stop! <laughs> Don't go that far and shoot. I know used to he I'd get mad because he would stop right where he had the fucking ball and try to shoot. Instead of just driving in. Now he's like overshoots it. It's like come on. Fucker. He drops the first one and that makes it a three-point lead. Let's go ahead and fucking make a two bucket lead here. And he hits both right, free throws here. Go. So now it's a four point ball game. And that was huge right there. Just as cool as he could be. And he's been clutch at the line there in a very tense moment. Oh. Here's Cobb. A shot missing. Good D by Drummond. Inside. Here's Sexton. Good for another there bucket. Go. He's made half a dozen now. Go. Six for eight on the night. This is what leaders do. You gotta love seeing Sexton own these moments and coming up clutch. Here's Cobb. Good. Nothing but net. Cobb's got two <coughs> points now in the quarter. You uh -huh. think Cobb is concerned in the clutch? <laughs> think again, because this guy embraces oh, yeah, the right. moment. He's about been six, locked about in six. all night, and he's taking good shots. Oh, man. In the fourth quarter of this one. I see my dude go in front of him. I thought I was going to fucking Cobb. catch that. That three off the mark. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Stewart passes to Drummond. It's good. There we go. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Wasted no time on that one. There we go. And it's a ten point ten points. lead. Taking no chances. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused. Oh, I thought he was coming up and they got with the me. job done. Nice cutting out. Kicks to Junior. Unloads. Man. Chicago grabs the miss. Cobb passes to Park. The three from Valentine. From deep. Missed. So All right. the there we go. Taking the win we here. pulled it off. Good but the oh, at the beginning, we was losing. Uh, I played terrible. But yeah, fucking, uh, a good team we did I. We did I. We, we came home. back and they won really by 10. So as a team, we did I. As a player, I, nah. I sucked it. Sucked it up. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you get notified whenever I upload new videos, which is multiple times every single day. And leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Till next time, peace out, Ely. Everybody love everybody.